Okay, and the most important one that I've been using right from the beginning, and it's the one that led me on a lot of my research, was magnesium. Now, um, the daily intake, I think, is uh, recommended. Daily intake is uh, 398 milligrams. I take 400, so I take four of these pills. Now, magnesium is a natural relaxant, so take it at night. It might help you sleep better if you're a kind of person that needs that little boost. Um, you know, don't so much depend on sleeping pills or alcohol or... You know, just go ahead and try that. You can always get it through food as well. Um, just let let you guys know that your blood vessels in inside your arteries and everything it's lined with um, with little tiny muscle fibers. So if you're deficient in magnesium, and there's not really any test to tell if you're deficient or not, but if you're deficient, um, they're going to tense up. So you want to help them to relax. You know, if you go to the hospital in cardiac arrest, they're going to give you magnesium because it helps to relax everything in your body, all your muscles, your tissues. And also, so same thing if you're in preterm labor, this is what they're going to do is try and stop your labor by giving you the, um, the magnesium. Okay, so um, in other words, it's good for people, anything stress-related. So headaches, muscle cramps, anxiety, depression... Uh, insomnia, um, like I said, blood pressure, even people with diabetes and people with asthma. Um, and it's like the magnesium is one of the 12 essential minerals that we need, and we our body does not make them every day, so you have to eat them or get them through supplementation. And if you really want to keep on check, because these minerals, these essential minerals, they kind of like charge up the powerhouses like in your body, the little cells that, that supply everything everywhere. And without it, you can expect crazy disturbances in your in your brain, in your blood vessels, in your hearts, your muscle, in your heart muscle, um, every muscle in your body. So there's a company that I'm going to switch to soon instead of taking it um, this way. And I don't eat a lot of grains, actually, and I should. Um, it's called Ancient Minerals, and basically they do what's called a transdermal method. Now, a lot of people I speak to, they have no clue what I'm talking about. I've emailed my own pharmacist and I went to speak to them, and they have no clue what I'm talking about. They said there is no transdermal magnesium, but this company does make it. You spray it on your body, and it works. You know, don't think transdermal would be a crazy idea, because when you get in a bath with Epsom salts, your body absorbs through your skin. It's your large, largest organ, so we all know that you can absorb Epsom salts through your skin, and they use it for muscle tension after working out in the gym or this kind of thing. So I don't understand why people couldn't grasp the idea that this actually is a true therapy. Um, it says even here that um, it can be just as potent in my notes here that I took. I don't remember what site I got it from, but just as potent as a prescription medication. And I can tell you for myself, I don't know if my blood pressure is down <clears throat> Excuse me, because of... Um, <clears throat> because of what I'm doing or is it because of what I'm taking, the supplementation and the change of my food? Okay, so, but you know that most blood pressure medications, especially beta blockers and um, I can't remember what the other, I can't remember what the other one is, but um, they have a long-term effect on your liver. It might not damage your liver right now, but take it for 10, 15, 20 years and you're going to see what, you'll have other issues to deal with, not just this. All right, so basically magnesium helps nerves send messages to the brain, really important, especially in children. Helps muscle relaxation. Um, helps in bone and teeth formation. Now, if you want to keep your teeth really nice and healthy, I think you should look into that if you're the kind of person that cares about your smile. Um, it regulates your metabolism. So if you gain weight easily, might be another interesting thing that, you know, maybe it's something really simple and maybe it's 10 things and you're going to get on one of the essential minerals that you're missing so that's really important um, it regulates your cholesterol your insulin and like plenty other things just have a look do your own research don't so much depend on everybody else um, it's really important that you find out on your own also um, if you don't know the symptoms of magnesium deficiency I will give you a couple here Muscle cramps, ever get a muscle cramp in your leg after you work out or in the middle of the night, you know, those ones people get. Tremors, irregular heartbeat, a lot of people have a regular heartbeat, they think it's just menopause or it's, um, 
Like, I, I have a regular heartbeat, and nobody knows why, but I haven't had it forever. I've had it for maybe 10 years, but they were trying to get me to take medication for that, and now I can tell you, since I've started supplementing and changing the way I'm doing things, I can tell you that my heartbeat is beautifully regular. I do not have any... My heart's not skipping a beat or anything like that, so that's important. Um, confusion. I didn't have confusion, but I'm sure some people do. Crankiness. Um, the ability to absorb magnesium gets lower as you age, so the older you get, the less you can absorb, so you have to really like stay on top of that. Um, like I said, the recommend daily allowance is 400 milligrams. You can get it from nuts, seeds, leafy greens, um, whole unprocessed foods. So plant foods, uh, plant sources are best, but seafood, salmon, halibut, um, and magnesium is unique actually to chlorophyll, so plant sources are best, as well as oats and buckwheat. So chlorophyll really has been like a big plus. So think about that. Okay, next. All right, and so the next thing is potassium. Um, I do only take 200 milligrams a day because I prefer to get it through my food. Potassium is really dangerous to play with. Potassium can actually give you high blood pressure, so you might want to watch out for that. And um, basically the recommended daily allowance of potassium is 4,700 for an adult female like myself. Now, something like this right here, this delicious banana, only has 500 milligrams. So I'd have to eat a lot of bananas if I wanted to get my recommended daily allowance of potassium from a banana. So basically, potassium is known as um, the supplement that gives you a cheerful lifestyle and human well-being. So it's absolutely, absolutely required for brain, kidney, heart, and muscle function. And so basically works with sodium in performing a lot of critical tasks in your body. So a deficiency would be something like if you had fatigue, muscle weakness, um, if your reflexes weren't working really well, so inactive reflexes, abnormal heartbeat, heart palpitations, we talked about that a minute ago, anemia, severe headaches, high blood pressure, any intestinal pain, glandular swelling, and diabetes. So it can affect a lot in your body. And, you know, a lot of times we don't think about what we're missing and we just eat our packaged food. And, I mean, personally, I've never eaten prepackaged food. Maybe craft Dinner, that's probably about it. And I'm not a cereal eater. I'm not a milk drinker. I don't eat cheese. Sometimes I eat eggs. Not anymore, mind you, but yeah. So I'm going to tell you some um, delicious food sources. So all the citrus, orange, grapefruit, you know, this, the lemons, all those things, good sources. Um, all vegetables, grains particularly, salmon, chicken, fresh juices, almonds, my favorite. So the most important source, though, is bananas. It's one of the highest, but I still would have to eat seven or eight bananas a day to be up on that. But the good thing is bananas have magnesium, and it's how I start my day every day. And sometimes it's whenever people are having cake, I bring out two bananas and my almond butter, and I have that instead, and it's really, like, it's delicious. You really should try it. So the benefits are you have stroke protection by keeping your brain in normal state. So people with low blood sugar should research this also. Um, it plays an important role in muscle contraction and relaxation. So it keeps your muscles contracting regularly and keeps them healthy. I mean, if you tried to work out and you were deficient in potassium, you would have a very painful time before and after, most probably. So um, it basically uh, helps with the electrical circuits in your brain, let's just say. So um, if you're a person who has epilepsy, it might be something that you want to research because sometimes, it, you know, when, when we're using pharmaceuticals, we're not thinking about that, but it might be something that would be helpful. And it's pretty simple to add a couple of bananas to your diet a day. Um, it helps with blood pressure. So it, um, potassium basically reverses the role of sodium. So sodium unbalances your blood pressure, um, and whereas the potassium kind of, pulls the water out of the cell properly and makes it function to its best. So it's um, good for supporting, supporting heart and blood vessel health. Um, if you have anxiety, it's really good, and anything related to stress, because these are things, again, that can put your blood pressure up. Um, and I guess that people would say, I haven't really noticed, but maybe I have, you know, maybe I'm closer to my RDA of potassium. So some people say that they... Um, 
one of the most appreciated things is that potassium uh, makes them feel like they have their muscle strength back. So that's awesome. Um, it also ensures proper muscle growth and it boosts your ability to use energy and in increasing your metabolism. So that's really great, especially as ladies get older, we always think about our metabolism slowing down. Um, it's good for your kidneys. It helps to remove the waste from your kidneys and it keeps your water balance, like I said, keeps your fluid levels regulated. So the our recommended daily allowance I said was 4,700. A good source also of um, potassium would be something like sweet potatoes has 700 milligrams, uh, orange juice, beet greens, white beans. I think white beans a half a cup has 600 milligrams. So you can add those to a salad or something like that. A dates, yogurt, tomatoes. You can you can do it. You can do it. All right, next.